Master. Skeeting Pong. Tai Chi, also known as Chinese Shadow Boxing. The Chen style is the original Tai Chi style, comes from the village Chen Jiago, which is situated about 75 kilometers from the Shaolin Monastery. Tai Chi consists of slow, connected series of moves. The students of Tai Chi learn how to use and control Qi. Qi is a vital energy of life itself, found at the roots of most, if not all, martial arts. It can be used in a negative or a positive manner. It's very, very difficult to explain what Qi is. For those not involved in martial arts, even for those involved in martial arts, it's very difficult to explain. Tai Chi is normally divided into three types of training. You can train alone, as we see here, pushing hands training with a partner, and weapons training. Some teachers actually approach Tai Chi by teaching ideas related to three principles. The Ying, the vital essence, and Qi, vital energy circulating around the body and the Shen or the spirit. Now one of the most famous actors to actually portray Shaolin monks, you would have seen him in Lethal Weapon 4, of course it is Jet Li, born in 1963 in Beijing in China. In 1971 he began training at the Beijing Amateur Sports School. 1974 he wins the championship of the National Youth Sports Competition. Tours the US as a member of the Beijing Wushu team and performs for President Nixon on the White House lawn. In 1975, 77, 78 and 79 he was Chinese men's all-around national Wushu champion and in 1980 he broke into filming. You will of course seen him in Lethal Weapon 4 really just showing that he has actually got an acting element as well as a martial arts element. Now what you find is most martial arts actors are martial artists <laughs> and uh, acting normally comes second best. With Jet Li, very much an actor, been on the Hong Kong scene a very, very long time. 1980, he began filming Shaolin Temple and that was released in 82. 1980, 1998, sorry, Hitman was actually released. In 1999, Black Mask, his film has been released in the US and he has actually begun production on Romeo Must Die. I don't know what the timescales are for that or when that it is. That is actually uh, projected to be released. But Jet Li, of course, one of the more famous martial arts that has portrayed and portrayed very well, the Shaolin Monks. Now, with the story of Shaolin monks beginning in around about 496, 497 AD, steeped in history, 1,500 years. Very much a tried and tested martial art. And if... Bodhidharma hadn't actually spent those nine years outside, as legend has it, outside the Shaolin Temple in Henan. We may have been seeing a very, very different story. And as you've seen with Li Pang, and Xiao Dong, five and six years old, they start training them at three. The discipline, the structure, the skill of these guys, the stamina, everything really, really stems from all the hard work and effort they really do put in. But I was recently reading a newspaper article on the Shaolin monks, and when they are in the West, they are very much out of the show, very much relaxed, Enjoy going out, eating sort of normal Western food, not on a strict diet at all. They enjoy eating the hot dogs, hamburgers, what have you. Very much a lively and energetic bunch.
This is Master Ski Zing Pong showing you Chen at Tai Chi. Now, if you're planning a trip to China, as well as the other Chinese tourist attractions you see, the Great Wall of China, the Terracotta Army, as well as those, really must employ you to go and see the Shaolin temples, where, of course, the Shaolin monks are housed. because this should give you just a little feeling for it. Ski Xing 